What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dr. Fake Studios, and we are inside of Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. However, you should be able to do what I'm going to do here on any version. What we're going to do is that we're going to connect onto a drop down list or menu within our application, our web application. So we're going to come over here to File. We're going to go to New Project. On Website, we're going to choose an ASP.NET empty website. Okay, and so we're going to put it inside of this folder here. Click on OK. Okay, after our solution has loaded, let's come over here to File. And we're going to choose New File. And then with our Visual Basic selected right here, we're going to choose Web Form and click on Add. Next that we want to do is we want to select right here in between our divs. And let's go ahead and go into Split Mode. So right here inside of our div, click on Toolbox, come down here to see, uh, to drop down list, double click on it. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is click on our server, and then we want to right click on our data connection and choose Add Connection. We want to leave this one as default, and we want to choose our server name. On our Windows Authentication, we're going to change this to SQL Server Authentication. Then we're going to type in our username, so this is Test user then we're going to come down here and select our database we're going to choose the test DB we're going to leave everything else default we're going to test our connection test connection succeeded then we're going to choose OK okay now right here with our combo or drop down list selected we're going to click on a little arrow right here on the side and choose data source when we come over here we're going to choose new data source we're going to choose the SQL database click OK Choose our drop down list. We're going to choose our test DB. Our connection string is going to be right here. So, this is going to be our connection string that we would use inside of our ASP.NET application. So, we would actually copy this out and put this inside of our web.config or database.config file. Click on next. And then you can uh, change this to whatever you want. We're going to go ahead and just leave it as test DB connection string. Click on next. And then we're given the option right here of which tables that we want to select. So we're going to choose our test table and then because it's the only one that we have and then we're going to choose our EID and ename that's the two values that we want to get and if you want to add in more information then you can choose a where and order by and then you can click on advance and then you can do some stuff within here as well you can also edit your code within SQL Server itself but I will show you that in a little while let's go ahead and click on next go ahead and choose test query and right here it's going to show us one through eight go ahead and click on finish and then everything looks good so select data field to display in the drop down list and select the data field for the value of the drop down list this is our value so we're going to leave this as it this is our data field to display to our visitor so we're going to choose the e name we're going to leave the eid click on ok and now we can come over here and we can test out our project Okay, so as you can see, our drop down list has populated with all of the information in it. So if we right click and we choose the view page source, we will see that we've got our values of 1 through 8 right here, and then the values that we see 1 through 8 right here. If we come over and we choose our information right here, we can actually manipulate this, but we can manipulate it within our SQL Server. So we're going to go ahead and connect. Uh, using our test user click on connect we're going to go inside of our database we're going to open up a new query and then we're going to take this right here paste it inside of here so let's say that we just want to grab a hold of one or two rows so we're going to select this right click on it go down here to design query and editor and let's say that we just want to grab a hold of only one table so we're going to we can change this to top one and then that right there is only going to grab a hold of one table for us. But what if we want it to be a descending table? Our EID and come to sort type and go to descending. Click on OK. And then run it. Then it's going to give us our bottom. Our top one is going to give us our very first one. And then if we add in an order by EID descend, then it's going to grab a hold of the very last record that is shown. And then so we would take this information right here after we we would take this right here and simply paste it in there save it and load it 
And now it's just going to show us that one record. All right, I am Wayne Barron for Dark Effect Studios inside of Microsoft Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.